And that is it. Full time Denmark won. England won. There's a lot of questions that needs to be asked about this manager for England. I mean, Southgate, some of the decisions he has made in this game is just ludicrous. I mean, when the game is 1-1, you take it off, uh, you, you take it off Harry Kane. I can understand you take it off Foden and Saka, but take it off Harry Kane, the goal scorer. One of the top goal scorers, one of the, I mean, the best number nine in the game right now. Why would you take him off? It's a huge mistake. Huge mistake by Southgate. I think the English media is just going to completely, completely destroy Southgate. But look, man of the match today, hard to say, right? Hard to say. Uh, who is your man of the match? Let me know in the comment sections. I mean, Bellingham, not really. It's, it's a game of defense, I think. Both teams canceled each other out. Not a whole lot of chances uh, from from England perspective. I think I don't think Schmeichel made any saves. To be honest with you, this whole game, this whole 90 minutes, I think Denmark completely uh, contained England. And the goal that England have scored was a, a, a lucky ricochet, and the, the one that Harry Kane scored. So all in all, I think Denmark absolutely deserve at least a draw in this match, and potentially they could have won this match as well. So. Lots of questions, lots of questions that needs to be asked about Southgate. I mean, I never thought he was a decent manager, but today shows that he is not a good manager. Not using Cole Palmer, one of the best players in the Premier League. Not using Kobe Mano, one of the, I mean, one of the best performers in, in the CDM position for Manchester United. He hasn't used him today. Uh, and also, he's playing Eze. I mean, Cole Palmer sitting on the bench, you, you putting in Eze, the guy from Crystal Palace just doesn't make any sense every decision that this manager has made does not make any sense in the last game of course we will see what's going to happen but this puts england still up top with four points and denmark i think will be second slovenia and uh, and serbia do have one point each so not good not good for england if they don't change soon, I think they will get fined out. They will get fined out in the big tournaments when the, when the round of 16 starts. I think they will get fined out. They can't continue to play like this, but it's a massive, massive point here for Denmark. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to join us for Spain against Italy. We're going to go live uh, in, a, in half an hour or so. Uh, and let us know. Let us know. How do you see the performance from England today? I mean, what needs to change in the next game and what needs to be done from formation wise, from personnel, what needs to happen? Let me know in the comment sections. But that is it, people. Uh, thank you all for watching. I feel like England, they're going to advance from this group comfortably. But the question, the real question starts in round of 16. And you can't play like that in round of 16. You will get find out. I mean, against France, against uh, Spain against Portugal if they play like that today like they did today I think they're gonna be uh, really really exposed and they will get find out so yeah they need to improve big time big time they need to improve but that's it people thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later peace